What's going on, guys? I'm here back from the Drop of the Breaker Season 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Super Gala Gun Super Tech on Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Um, I'm actually a little surprised that this move got altered uh, in the patch notes because it literally just dropped last season. So what they did was they decreased the attack startup time and the time required before another action can be performed. So uh, to my understanding, basically uh, make it come out faster is what they did here. And they reduced the projectile uh, or they increased the projectile speed and hit detection uh, of the super attack as well. But they didn't adjust any of the visuals like they did previously. So I'm under the assumption that if it is the same change that these moves have received, it is not a true vanishing kick combo. So for this video, I will be equipping uh, Charming Pose as opposed to Fake Death. We will, however, uh, test out at the end of the video in practice to see if it is a true Vanishing Kick combo. I will try to get Vanishing Kicks in, see if it does combo with a just a default Vanishing Kick. I doubt it will, but uh, I wasn't really too crazy about Super Gala Gun, so I'm hoping that with this buff, it has, you know, it will change my tune about it. But anyways, let's go ahead and queue up and see just how good Super Gala Gun is in a real match. Already for our first match here, we're going against a level 57 cell. Uh, surprisingly, no Goku Black in the Masu. Heading to Rocky Field in terms of our survivor levels, we have a 254, 255, 255, myself, 256, a 92, a 251, and a 192, who is a cross play homie. So, uh, again, with these uh, transfer showcases, well, more so super attack showcases, I'm not super, super pressed about getting level fours in the actual match but i do run with a group just in case we do get in the situation now luckily we are in that situation so we should be able to get the level four uh shown off as soon as uh, assuming we get all the balls for this match so i don't know about you guys uh i was not exactly a super big fan um of super gallic gun um, when it originally came out i just feel like if you're going to use super Saiyan blue vegeta you would just use big bang attack right so i'm really hoping that uh with this buff that it's received that it is definitely uh, significantly better. That way there is that conversation of like, oh, should I equip Super Gallic Gun? Or should I equip Big Bang Attack? I still think it's going to be Big Bang Attack. But hey, at least, you know, there will be that debate, right? Depending on how good the uh, the buff board was. So it looks like what they did for a lot of these supers is that they realized it took way too long for someone to come out. And they realized that the end lag for someone was also way too long. So now the super is going to be coming out a little bit faster and also going to be... Uh, ending a little bit faster as well but i don't really think super gallic gun had that much end lag on the moves i don't know if that part was necessary in my opinion but definitely the um the start time i i felt could be a little bit better so i thought that was a good change you know what to do with that key. Actually, don't really need gloves by the way if you guys don't know gloves uh actually are a good way to get rid of um goku black or not goku black but get rid of uh zamasu um I believe at every level, if Zamasu is out, if you uh, land gloves, uh, it will um, knock Zamasu out for a little bit. I can mark that for somebody. All right, Cell's probably going to be like right above us. Is he just at area destruction? Oh. Okay. I think he's going to area E. E is okay so i'm head over here then so he found a sieve all right so we could find here looks like a lot of these houses were open but um hey, great. You found another power key. Use crates were open for some reason great. all right cell is actually doing pretty good of uh, getting sieves which is not that great for us Damn, yeah, he got three sieves in E, I believe. I don't think we uh, checked out E at all. This is bad. Somebody and we got somebody as well. I don't want to stall him. I think I do. <laughs> oh, he did that. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, it wasn't facing him, so that's why the pose didn't land. Okay. Gun. Just fired it just to see what it did, man, because that's all I had anyway. Uh, it did feel a little bit faster, I will say. 
I did that just to stall so he wouldn't get his level 3 as fast. Allow people to plant keys. Maybe someone could get the res on that guy. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get the res on him. I think Vegeta is still struggling to get his level 1. Alright, so he did uh, pick up the level 3, which isn't the end of the world, but it would have been nice to keep him on level 2 for sure. So now he might destroy Area E, which I probably would do if I were him, just because I got all the civs from... Well, actually, he doesn't really want to destroy E, because uh, we still gotta find a key there. That would kind of help us out, honestly. Alright, so we got... Six of the balls. Oh, dude, we do have all seven. We do actually have seven. Unless E gets caught, we could lose that one. We'll see what happens. Okay. Looks like E got away. He did, yeah. Okay, so now we just gotta find a key here. Alright, you know what? Um, I'm actually... Actually gonna try to get out of here. Alright. I feel like the play here is to summon from another area. Shouldn't just lag out? Oh. Thank you. Alright, so we will be able to pick up the level 4 here, which is pretty nice. Ooh, we got another Sith. That's not good. Alright, so I'm gonna summon... Actually, A is like... A's pedestal is there. It's actually not even that great of a summoning spot. So I got B. B is probably the best place to summon on this map. I could summon in C, though. He's like nowhere near C. So now if he uh, absorbs one survivor, that's going to be uh, his level 4. Okay, let me just transform. I want to get to a pedestal like sooner rather than later. Alright, jumpy jumpy. <laughs> Super did seem to be a little bit faster, but unfortunately we didn't get to see the damage there. Is that a Civ I heard? Right, he might destroy this area. He does, we could just jump over to the next. Oh, come on. All right, no problem. Thought I was a goner. Hey, great. You found another power key. Alright. We should have plenty of time. I don't think we'll have enough time to snipe us here. He's really gonna have a second. Come yeah, he did not. Woo! That got a little close. We got a little close. Here comes a pain. I'm gonna get some distance on him. Honestly, I might just IT away, because I think he's just gonna be chasing us. Access the startup system from the yeah. central area. Just a little more to go, then you're done. I do have my flowing device. Okay. Alright, he's just going for the STM. Fine. Word? Oh, we can just do this if he's going to... Alright, well... Did not see that coming, honestly. Did not expect it just to float up into... Word. Okay, I'm getting kind of cooked here. Alright, I could have tried to go for a super there. I didn't. I gotta be careful. All right, we go for some key blast here. Okay. I gotta play a lot better here because I swear I hit R1, but it just makes my key blast a priority. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, that's good damage. What? Hold on. This guy's doing a pretty good job of avoiding us. That gave us enough time to hit him off of that type of melee. That's a lot of damage. That's Cell that's taking that much damage, by the way. Okay. Go for a double stun. Want to be careful not to get hit anymore here. Surprised he's not, like... 
attack him at all. Okay, let's land this. Nice. It's really risky for me to even bother going for vanishing kicks right now, so I'm just gonna play uh, away. I actually am liking the Super Gallic on. He's doing a really good job of avoiding us. You do that, so I'm not gonna waste my super. Nice. Ooh, heat dome as well. Oh my god. That's game. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, he he was cooking me in the beginning. He was actually cooking the crap out of me. Uh, I did goop, I land a vanishing kick, and I was just like, oh. I totally could have tried to land a super there, so that's my bad. But uh, that was a pretty good first match. That was a very good first match. Props to this cell for hanging in there. He played that very well. Uh, essentially, in that situation, that is probably the best play to make, which is to kind of just like almost train like zombies almost, where you kind of just run around and try to waste dragon changes and deal damage where you can. So he played that very well. It's just unfortunate we had practically the entire team up. But uh, he played that very well, that cell. He played that very well. If he took me out um, and he took out the dragon changes, that easily, easily could have been an L because he, he cooked me very, uh, very good in the beginning. But anyways, let's go ahead and do another match to see if we get a better showing. But uh, GG's to this guy. He played really well. Surprisingly, for a second match, we're running to another cell, uh, level 6 cell. And we're heading to uh, the old new map, Dangerous Grounds. And uh, pretty much, I, I'm pretty uh, satisfied and impressed by Super Galagone. I really did not care for it the first time around there. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to see if it's a true vanishing kick combo. We could try in this match. But regardless, like I said, we'll hop into practice afterwards just to make absolutely sure. Um, but uh, keep in mind, a full bar on Cell is significant damage because if you don't know, Cell's health pool is actually the largest out of all the raiders in the entire game. He's the tankiest raider. So if I use that on Frieza, Boo, even Goku Black, for example, they would actually be taking more damage to Super Gallic Gun. So the fact that it comes out faster, has less end lag, is definitely uh, very dangerous for um, the Raiders. Auto of all Raiders, forget about it. So like, level 1 Zamasu is going to be taking monstrous amounts of damage. Uh, Goldo, Raccoon, Jason, Birder, like, uh, Cyberman, Nappa, Spopovich. Ooh. Is he coming over here? So I can save this really fast. Thanks. Bro coming for me? <laughs> good, bruh. What's up? Damn it. Look, bro, he's not, he wasn't. What's up, bro? Hold this, bug. Ooh. Oh, that wasn't a full. Oh, it's because I'm level one, that's why. Hold this, bug. Damn it. All right, well. <laughs> so that's going to deal lots of damage because we're a level one, by the way. Some super attacks, unless it's all, I'm actually not sure, I should know. But uh, most super attacks will scale up uh, in terms of damage based on the level. So at level 3, they'll be dealing uh, max damage, right? But at least we got a little bit of early damage on, so that would have been nice to get two of those in, but that's what it is. Alright. Grab this crate. Dragon radar, very nice. Oh yeah, we can get the level four again even. If we wanna. I will say, I actually do like that the super transfers and the level fours. Uh, you can't just spam the supers willy-nilly. I can't say that. Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Android, you Yikes. Alright, well, sucks to suck, I guess, dude. Alright, um, anyways. <laughs> what the hell was I saying? I completely forgot. Oh yeah, I was saying that I, I actually do like the mechanic with super transfers and level 4s now. That, uh, it does reduce your limit gauge every time you use a super. So I feel like it just adds more, like, thoughts and it just adds to more strategy as opposed to just bum rushing and just getting level four and spamming the R1 super. So I actually do like that mechanic. 
I know some people probably will not, but personally, I think it's a good uh, good change. I also honestly would like them to bring back the old Dragon Ball game. Uh, Dragon Ball... Dragon Ball game. The old Dragon Ball mechanic, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Essentially, when you used to summon, if the uh, Raider used area destruction, uh, you would not be able to take the balls off of the pedestal and summon somewhere else. Basically, if you summon in an area and the Raider used area destruction, you would have to collect all of the balls again. So it forced uh, survivors to be a little more uh, thoughtful with their summons and actually summon in places like Area X because Area X could not be uh, destroyed, right? That's one of the areas, the only area in the game that cannot be destroyed. So uh, you could bait out the Raider thinking you're summoning in, you know, A, B, C, or D, or E, and they would do area destruction. But if you're in Area uh, X, for example, uh, they would not be able to destroy it. They'd be stuck in their area destruction animation. And you'd be confirmed to getting your summon. I just thought that would be like, just those mind games I found really interesting. But, uh, you know, it's just me, dude. Just my boomer ways. Thinking about old Breakers meta. Alright. No real need for me to hop in there. It's just uh, the first grab the cell is getting. Can I actually uh, do two transformations? Once I got a gold and regular soda. Let me grab this key. I still have six people this match. I just realized that. Okay, so we have five of the balls. This game is actually moving very quickly. And we got the key set. Nice. Okay. Got these set about a Zenny. Oh, this guy DC'd. Oh, don't we res him or DC? Oh, let me actually grab that soul. Curious to see the damage with um Galaga now. Alright, so let's see if we can get this vanishing kickoff. Here comes a pain. Okay. The hell hit me. I use that. That miss? For real? Okay. Ah, uh, I don't think yeah, it doesn't seem like it is. It does not look like a vanishing kick combo. It's definitely faster, but it's not fast enough, right? Alright, he's flying straight like that. I could be able to hit him. Alright, let me pop one of these. Get a change right back. Alright, let me save the homies there. Okay, let's go to land this. W. Oh, I just did not expect it. Honestly. I did not expect him to turn around like that. He, he just called me off guard straight up. Alright, I guess I'll look and see if I can find the rest of the balls. But I can't really uh, defend SDM. We actually could lose this game if he knocks us out of all of our changes and we can't defend the SDM. So this game is not won yet. But we are getting supplies, which is pretty good. So just grab supplies, dude. Stay calm. Screw it. Stay calm. I need two sodas. Okay. Pop this. Pop this. I just need that. Sorry. Sorry, Gogeta. You're done. Oh, Got see the damage done. on this. Ooh. Oh damn. Okay. Step all down. All right. That should be game. No. Ooh, he got me there. Can I get another one? Alright, we got him. Alright, so... Uh, 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 breakers. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna hit any buttons. Uh, 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 I, the game, I won. No, uh, uh. <laughs> hey, dude. Super Galagon actually broke the game. <laughs> uh, I'm just not gonna hit any buttons so I get my rewards here, just in case. Uh... Is it not going to give me rewards? That's actually crazy. I got robbed, bro. Anyways. Wow. All right. <laughs> I guess we'll hop into practice uh, really quick and just see if it's a uh, true vanishing skin combo. I don't think it is, but we'll, we'll just double check. Alrighty. I'll hop into practice now. I just want to show you guys the raw damage at level three. It's going to be uh, three quarters of a bar, which is not bad, which is not bad. Um, so let's uh, get him to. Alright, well, I'll try to get him to a full bar. Alright, let's try Vanishing Kick and um, Super. 
Just see the damage? It's pretty good damage. Alright, so now we're going to see if it's a true combo. Say if I was playing, I would stun. I would go up, Banshee Kick, Super. Built that true combo. Alright, so that's going to be the video, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of Super Gallic Gun. I think it is a solid Super. Uh, I don't think it's insane by any stretch of the imaginations, but it, it is it's definitely significantly better uh, by being able to uh, use it a lot faster. The damage is pretty respectable. It, it is respectable. And it's definitely a lot easier to land, so I think it's a W Super. Uh, it's not like meta by any stretch of the imagination, again, but it, it's definitely not bad. But that being said, boys, that is going to be the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below your thoughts, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care, stay have fun. Peace out, dude, and, and subscribe. I've been saying to subscribe. It, it helps, dude. Anyways, peace. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.